Okay. I am going to show you how to balance out the We Build Gamble. We Build Gimbal using my Canon T7. Let's get started. Once you get the We Build, I'm not going to go through all the accessories that came with it, but a couple of them I am. Got a weight here. Got another, got another lifter for your long lens, but I'm using the standard lens that came with the Canon T7. So, let's get this thing started. Also, before you balance out your gimbal, <clears throat> all whatever accessories you're gonna add on to it, add them on before you start the balancing so you have everything intact. This is the video mic. Real clear, real clear. Been getting a couple of questions about how I balance out this gimbal, so I broke it back down and I'm gonna do it again. So visually, as always, best for some people. Uh, it's good for me. I like to just figure things out anyway. So, this arm can be transported up top for carrying. It's kind of like when you're videoing low scenes from feet on up. You know what I mean? I've seen some people on YouTube videoing up under their cars and stuff on how they hook up certain parts up under their cars. And. See, it's easy to come off. I'm gonna buy me another extension. It's also a tripod. This is a tripod. It's also come with two batteries, which I'm charging right now. They ought to be good and charged by the time I get to balancing this out. Well, they've been on charge for a minute, so we're gonna go from there. How about that? I use a pen to to uh. Pull them out of there. Sit that to the side. It does come with that charger. Your batteries go up under the bottom of the wee wheel, which is easy access. Long battery life. Don't know how long. It's say up to five to seven miles. I haven't tested that yet. Tested that yet. I'm not going to tell you what I hadn't tested. But as you can see, where the batteries go. Slide that back on. Sit the camera back up. And you are gonna need a penny or a dime or a nickel or a quarter. Whatever you choose. It also comes with three of these little quarter access screws for the bottom of the camera or whatever you're gonna be mounting on your Weebook. Also, later on, I'm gonna be adding me another mount for my monitor. But for now, I'm just gonna show you guys how easy it is to mount this camera on the wheel bill and balance it out. But all, but remember, whenever you're balancing it out, make sure you add all your accessories before you start balancing it. Because if you don't, common sense should tell you what's gonna happen. And as you see, my lens is not that long. I got an 18. 55 millimeter lens, the standard kit lens that came with the Canon T7, which is, by the way, a great camera. It's all in your preference. Some like, some like Sony, some like Nikon, me, I like Canon. So that's how that mount go on there, that weight. And before I actually put this on, I'm gonna take off the lens. Any weight can throw it off. And I'm also gonna mount my video mic as well. So let's remove that the box. And everything I got here, it will be in the description. It will be a link to it, so you can go straight to it if you wanna buy it. And if you got any questions, leave them down at the bottom of this video. And please subscribe, help my channel out, because some of these guys that's doing these videos, I don't knock them for how they do it. But I do it my way. You know what I'm talking about? A little fun with it, you know what I mean? Not all dry. I always keep my boxes to my accessories. Because whenever I upgrade, if I choose to upgrade <clears throat> me, I pass it down to somebody who's just getting started. Maybe one of you. So I'm always keep the boxes that come in so you can always get the original box. With whatever 
I buy for my camera. Nice and neat. Okay, now I'm gonna mount my Rode mic to the top of my camera. I'll display that. Very easy to mount. And I had to buy an extension for the Canon T7 for the micro USB port because it doesn't. Uh, this this microphone, this camera here don't don't come with a uh, uh, output for a microphone. That's one of the downsides of it, as well as not having a flip screen. So, like I said. I bought an external monitor which shows lovely. It's a newer 7 inch monitor 4K. Shows lovely. I think I paid about $109 for it. Maybe $112 because I got a kit. And I got the kit, so it was like $115. $112, $115. But it'll be a link in the description. So. Let's get this plugged up. And as you can see, I'm adding my accessories before. I mount it to the gimbal. Take care of that guy right there. If it be doing some real live footage. So subscribe to this channel, man, because it's about anything. Anything in life. Because I'm thankful. So as you can see, the wee bull got several locks on it. Close the legs up. Lock it back. Stay in place. Locks. Lock it back in place and bottom lock as well to keep the, the bottom weight from moving all right let's get started there's a push pin on here to allow your camera to slide to the back So, the first weight sitting on a flat surface. So I'm gonna take and balance that a little bit more. I like it to be even Steven. Even Steven. A couple of increments to the right, a couple of increments to the left. And voila.
next one is the bottom axis. Usually take that and lay it to the side. You want this weight to line up with this back. So, take and lay that down. I hope you can see that. Let's make sure you guys can see that. How I'm doing that. Actually. I'm tightening up. Just wait. Next, let's power this guy on. And it does come with several different USB cords, mini cords for different cameras. Like I said, I'm using the Canon T7. That's for the apps. Let's power this guy on. Alrighty. We got action. And as I'm saying, axes locked. I mean, one of them are, is not. One of the axes is locked. We're going to try that again. got action baby keep all my accessories in my bag I'm definitely gonna need to get a bigger carry bag but that is how simple it is to mount this guy and as you can see working just fine. In the next video, I'll go through the molds. When it comes on, it's in pan and follow. You can also can lock the button down on the side. Put it in lock mode. But that'll be for another video. But as you can see, it's very easy to stable and balance out your wee build gimbal. It's fire. Peace.